So when you're vaping away on an RDA or an RTA or uh, RSA or any of these rebuildable devices, uh, you do find that over time, usually pretty quickly, if you're dripping on it or if you're squonking on it, that you start to compress the cotton, the cotton gets saturated with the juice and it starts burning onto the coils and you start getting muted flavour, you start getting burnt hits. Uh, it just doesn't taste, it loses that flavour. So what do you do to clean up your coils? Well, it's actually really straightforward. You basically uh, take the wick out, you heat the coil up, and it turns it back to normal or back to the original state. So I'm going to show you how to do this uh, using the Avenger and the Loop here. I've been vaping on this all morning. Uh, I've been using this from a fresh build. Uh, it's not super saturated, it's not super dirty, but it's enough that I can actually show you what I'm doing. So we're going to go jump over to my desk and I'm going to show you what to do to clean these coils up. Here we go, we've got the Avenger sitting here with the loop on top. Pop the cap off and you can see the coils are quite dark. Uh, the cotton has been saturated and is discoloured a bit. So we take our tweezers and we pop the cotton out of one side. So there we go. And what you want to do is break down the cotton on this side. So with a bit of a gentle tug, don't want to tug too hard because you don't want to mess up the coil build, but you just want to tear away a bit of the cotton like that so that it's not so thick. And then you can just pull it out from the other side. So you're just loosening it up and there we go. So that's that one out. And then we do the same for the other one. So we'll just tear it up a bit on this side. If you get your tweezers in there, you can just give it a quick tug. And once it's got enough out, you can just pull the cotton straight through. Then what you want to do is make sure there's no cotton left in there. Because what can happen is when you heat it up, it can catch fire. Same if there's any juice about. So you just heat up the coils. And as you can see there, there is still a bit of juice there. Because it's just vaping away. And uh, we're lighting them up. So you're just heating them up a bit. And it will just burn off the excess there. And there, I've got a bit of flame. And that's just because... I've either left a bit of cotton there or there's a bit of extra juice there. But that's fine. You just blow it out and heat the coils up again. And you can see that they are returning back to their original color. So I'm just going to put a fresh set of wicks in this. So I'll just show you a couple of tricks with this. So the cotton that I use is cotton strip pads. I do like to use organic Japanese cotton pads. Cut them in half, stretch them out, and then roll them in what's known as a Scottish roll. Get one end nice and tight, feed it through, just like that. And you feed it through, a little bit of a twist, and just pull it through until it starts to get to the fluffy end there, and that's fine. And I'll always turn the device around, make up my second cotton, and then feed it in, in the opposite direction. So with the other cotton coming in, it's going to point in the other direction, so that I've got the tight ends pointing other ways now the reason that i'm doing this is when you come to cut them you will have a bit of tightness on the end of the end that you fed through through and that's because you've had to twist it to get it tight to get it through so ideally you want those on the opposite sides in the juice well because then it evens it up so i'm just going to cut the ends off here i want the because i'm going to be using this as a dripper i just really want them just touching the bottom of the juice well there so that's what i'm doing i'm just getting the cut in there uh, so they're both about level there, and then I want to fluff these out. So I just get my tweezers, fluff them out a bit, and once again, as I'm using it as a dripper, it's not that essential to fluff them completely. If I was using this on a squonk mod, I would fluff them out a lot more because you want all those air holes to capture the juice coming up from the squonk. But when you're dripping on it, you're putting the, the juice directly onto the coils anyway, so they don't have to be quite as fluffy. So we'll just get these fluffed out on both sides. So now I've got them all fluffy, you can see that. Uh, here's another trick that I've got for when you're filling. So I've not tucked the coils in, but I am juicing them up first. Now the reason that I'm doing this this way round is because when you add the juice to the cotton, what will happen is the cotton will expand. As the cotton gets wetter, it expands and it absorbs that moisture. So you want, to, if you can do this before you feed the cotton in, this is especially good on RTAs, then the cotton's moist and it's as big as it's going to get. So that's what we're doing here. So you just have to make sure that you get both the top side and the underside. Make sure they're nice and saturated with the juice. You might find that you need to cut a bit more off the wicks once you've juiced them up this way. Uh, but I've managed to get a nice decent cut on these, so I don't need to do that. So now we can just feed them into the juice holes. 
into the well there and they're nice and ready to go so we'll just pop that this side in and same again on the other side just using my tweezers here so the only tools i really needed for this were my tweezers and my scissors so nice and quick and simple and we'll just pop a bit more juice on the top of the coils and quick fire up make sure we've got a nice burst coming So there we go, getting way more flavour through this now. Uh, all the coils are cleaned up, a nice fresh cotton in there and getting really flavourful hits off that. So that's worked really well there. Uh, usually I wouldn't do this in the same day that I've done a build, but uh, this I have been using this quite a bit and I have generated a bit of build up there. So it was worthwhile showing you that. Usually I do this every two days or so if I'm using a dripper and that seems to work pretty well. And Every time you do it, you just clean your coils off like that. Some people have said put it under water, you heat it up, put it under water. I've not felt the need to do that on any coils. Uh, by the time that I've actually would have got to a point to do that, I would have changed the coils uh, because I do. I do change my coils quite often uh, just because I like different builds, different build styles, different decks. That's just the way I do. But I do every time I change the cotton, which is about once every two days, I do do a dry burn there just to clear it off. And you've seen a couple of tricks in there as well for the building. Uh, so when I'm making my wicks, I use cotton pads. I don't use cotton bacon. I just find it easier to work with. You get one cotton pad, cut it in half and stretch it out. So take off the top layer, the bottom layer of the cotton and then stretch it out and roll it up. I find that works best for me for building. I find it a lot easier to work with. And I also find it about the right size for most coils as well. And you can just pop them in, pop them out, and you can get the pads pretty cheap. Uh, you did notice I got a bit of flame there. Now, that does happen occasionally. You just have to be a bit careful of that. It was either a bit of cotton that I hadn't taken all the way out, or it was a bit of juice that caught fire there. It does happen if you're burning when there's nothing in there. If there's anything flammable around, it will catch it. Uh, but there's nothing to worry about. It, it just blow the flame out. It's like a candle. Nothing to worry about there. And fi the final bit there was the uh, juicing up the cotton before putting it down the, wi the wicks. Now the reason that I, do it, that I did that there is because the cotton does expand as it's exposed to the juice. The cotton expands, it takes up more space. Now this is a really useful trick when you're building an RTA. Not an RDA like I did there. Because when you're doing an RDA, RTA, you've only got a certain amount of space to fit your wick for the wicking ports. And if you've got that wrong on an RTA, you can sometimes have trouble getting getting it wicking correctly. So if you have wet wicks, wicks that are wet with juice, you know how much space they're going to take up when you're putting them into the R, RTA wicking ports. So that's definitely something to keep in mind if you're building on an RTA to wet your cotton as you are building it up. So there we go. I hope you found that really useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to jump over, subscribe to the channel. I've got loads of useful information on there. I do Vaping 101 videos like this. I do reviews of mods, Aegis, and so on. The two devices that I've used in this, the Loop RDA and the Avenger uh, kit, including the Avenger tank. I've done full reviews on both of these devices. I'll put links up above for those. Uh, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter. It's at one purple mongoose, and I've got a Patreon that's up and running. Uh, go jump on over there, www.patreon.com/purplemongoose. Got loads of uh, information over there. There's a video that explains the reward scheme on that, so you can win mods, win juices, so on. All that. Go check that out. And as ever, with nice fresh build.